players this year. You'll hear them call the action. You'll even see them in the booth. On the field, the introduction of motion blur and HDR lighting makes the game look as beautiful as ever. And the same love and care has been given to making both current and legendary players look as authentic as possible. This pursuit of pixel-perfect accuracy also includes adding every new Nike uniform that will be worn in the NFL this year, and also making sure that legendary players are wearing gear true to their eras. Now, we haven't yet talked about Connect functionality, but this year in Madden NFL 13, anything you can say, you can do. So now, if you want to hike the ball or tell your receiver to go long, you can use a controller or your voice to lead your team on both offense and defense. So as you can see, there's plenty going on this year in Madden NFL 13, and really plenty we didn't even get a chance to talk about. But for now, it's probably best to simply dig in and enjoy the experience. And make sure to look out for more videos from the EA development team, as they'll be delivering plenty of tips and tricks to you in the near future. Hey everybody, Trey Wingo here. I want to welcome you to Madden NFL 13. You know, this year it all starts with fun, innovative, and perhaps most importantly, realistic gameplay. In today's NFL, as we all know, it's more about passing, so total control passing is being introduced this year. This means as a quarterback, you'll now be able to become a true field general as you'll read and react during every passing play. So you'll have the ability to lead your receiver into space and connect with him on that beautiful deep route or even deliver a perfect back shoulder throw. Now that level of control is also being brought to other areas of the gameplay. You'll be able to stop a play action fake early and get rid of the ball if you are being swarmed by pass rushers. And it's more natural than ever to connect to a receiver and leap into the air to make a spectacular grab like Megatron himself. Also, for the first time ever in Madden, true physics are being brought to the field by the game-changing Infinity Engine. Now, tackles will be dynamic, and every collision is just another opportunity to make something new and exciting happen. Madden NFL 13 also includes something entirely new this year called Connected Careers. Here, you can write your own story, or you can live out the career of a real NFL superstar or coach. So you can play by yourself as a journeyman quarterback trying to beat the odds, or you can get together with 31 buddies and simply compete for the Lombardi Trophy year after year. In fact, nothing's stopping you from using a running back while 31 other users game plan for you each week as NFL coaches. In other words, it's about giving you options. And as you make moves, real-life Twitter personalities will tell everybody about your latest and greatest acquisitions. And much like the real NFL... Hello guys, this is your boy Shocker 360 and here we are with a new tournament defense uh, out of the Chicago Bears uh, defensive playbook. And uh, you know, this is uh, just, I'm going to show you guys a quick little scheme of uh, how I use it. Uh, we actually uh, went to a tournament this weekend. Uh, we had to pay $10 to get in. Uh, it was... Um, it was a uh, you know really long tournament they made it double elimination which we were there forever and uh, you know we finally finished in the top three and the top three players got paid the same because if we would have kept playing would have ended up getting out of there till six in the morning so uh, you know we ended up leaving everybody left uh, with the same amount of cash price so it was all good I probably post a picture of the you know the top three players of that tournament and right here I'm gonna show you guys a little scheme that I've been working on and look at this uh, and it's, uh, this is out of the dime defense and as you can see here the dime defense is probably one of the best coverage defenses there is as well you can send some heat real quick heat off the edge as you're gonna see right now um, I'm gonna go ahead and set it up and um, you see right here just comes off the edge untouched and a really great coverage over the top it's only a five-man blitz and it's a really good defense I, I like it it's been working for me on tournaments and that's why I'm here to, to talk about it here in this uh, just preview of the uh, defensive uh, tournament edition guide so it's already out guys make sure you go go to manasters.com and go check it out uh, one of the things I've been having problems with the uh, halfback draw stopping the halfback draw uh, this is it right here uh, we locked it up uh, this is one of the strongest halfback draws in the game so basically with this uh, technique here it's really hard to stop and as you can see here we just uh, stop the halfback uh, draw on its track so you know uh, it's definitely coming in with more it has different schemes this is schemes this is not just a blitz or a, a max coverage this is schemes and how to use the scheme and how to mix it up 
So make sure you guys go check it out at manosters.com. It's already up and ready. The Dallas Cowboys also will be up soon. Dark Raven is about to finish and putting in the finishing touches for the Dallas Cowboys uh, offensive tournament guide. So until there, guys, this was Shark360 from manosters.com. stay connected as the next big move might just be a second away. When you aren't on the move, every game you do play is another chance to add to your legacy and earn additional experience points that can be used in order to help you on your way to camp. With presentation this year, it's all about touching every pixel and improving every sound. Jim Nance and Phil Simms, the voices of the NFL on CBS, are the commentators this year. You'll hear them call the action. You'll even see them in the booth. On the field? The introduction of motion blur and HDR lighting makes the game look as beautiful as ever. And the same love and care has been given to making both current and legendary players look as authentic as possible. This pursuit of pixel-perfect accuracy also includes adding every new Nike uniform that will be worn in the NFL this year, and also making sure that legendary players are wearing gear true to their eras. Now, we haven't yet talked about Kinect functionality, but this year in Madden NFL 13, anything you can say you can do. So now if you want to hike the ball or tell your receiver to go long, you can use a controller or your voice to lead your team on both offense and defense. So as you can see, there's plenty going on this year in Madden NFL 13 and really plenty we didn't even get a chance to talk about. But for now, it's probably best to simply dig in and enjoy the experience. And make sure to look out for more videos from the EA development team as they'll be delivering plenty of tips and tricks to you in the near future. Hey everybody, Trey Wingo here. I want to welcome you to Madden NFL 13. You know, this year it all starts with fun, innovative, and perhaps most importantly, realistic gameplay. In today's NFL, as we all know, it's more about passing, so total control passing is being introduced this year. This means as a quarterback, you'll now be able to become a true field general as you'll read and react during every passing play. So you'll have the ability to lead your receiver into space and connect with him on that beautiful deep route or even deliver a perfect back shoulder throw. Now that level of control is also being brought to other areas of the gameplay. You'll be able to stop a play action fake early and get rid of the ball if you are being swarmed by pass rushers. And it's more natural than ever to connect to a receiver and leap into the air to make a spectacular grab like Megatron himself. Also, for the first time ever in Madden, true physics are being brought to the field by the game-changing Infinity Engine. Now, tackles will be dynamic, and every collision is just another opportunity to make something new and exciting happen. Madden NFL 13 also includes something entirely new this year called Connected Careers. Here, you can write your own story, or you can live out the career of a real NFL superstar coach. So you can play by yourself as a journeyman quarterback trying to beat the odds, or you can get together with 31 buddies and simply compete for the Lombardi Trophy year after year. In fact, nothing's stopping you from using a running back, while 31 other users game plan for you each week as NFL coaches. In other words, it's about giving you options. And as you make moves, real-life Twitter personalities will tell everybody about your latest and greatest acquisitions. And much like the real NFL, 
Connected Careers never sleeps. Anytime, anywhere, you can stay connected as the next big move might just be a second away. When you aren't on the move, every game you do play is another chance to add to your legacy and earn additional experience points that can be used in order to help you on your way to camp. With presentation this year, it's all about touching every pixel and improving every sound. Jim Nance and Phil Simms, the voices of the NFL on CBS, are the commentators this year. You'll hear them call the action. You'll even see them in the booth. On the field, the introduction of motion blur and HDR lighting makes the game look as beautiful as ever. And the same love and care has been given to making both current and legendary players look as authentic as possible. This pursuit of pixel-perfect accuracy also includes adding every new Nike uniform that will be worn in the NFL this year, and also making sure that legendary players are wearing gear true to their eras. Now, we haven't yet talked about Connect functionality, but this year in Madden NFL 13, anything you can say, you can do. So now, if you want to hike the ball or tell your receiver to go long, you can use a controller or your voice to lead your team on both offense and defense. So as you can see, there's plenty going on this year in Madden NFL 13, and really plenty we didn't even get a chance to talk about. But for now, it's probably best to simply dig in and enjoy the experience. And make sure to look out for more videos from the EA development team, as they'll be delivering plenty of tips and tricks to you in the near future. Hey everybody, Trey Wingo here. I want to welcome you to Madden NFL 13. You know, this year it all starts with fun, innovative, and perhaps most importantly, realistic gameplay. In today's NFL, as we all know, it's more about passing, so total control passing is being introduced this year. This means as a quarterback, you'll now be able to become a true field general as you'll read and react during every passing play. Under the roof here in New Orleans, the fans are ready for this NFC matchup between the San Francisco 49ers and the New Orleans Saints. Two of the best in the league at their positions will square off in this game. A top-tier wide receiver, a top-tier cornerback. What gives in this matchup, Phil? You know, when you talk about top-tier cornerback, that's a guy who is not afraid. A lot of these corners in this league now, oh, they got to stay on their one side. they got to be outside because they don't want to be exposed switching sides or playing a receiver in the middle of the field. That's not going to be the case here today. going to be fun to watch a one-on-one -on -one match. Bringing the play to an end. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Like 50, like 50. 
we go. They better hurry to get the snap and the give to Pierre Thomas. In on the stop. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. Second and short following the run. The quarterback's calling something out. Play action. Quarterback has it on his hip. And now looking to throw. That last play made by Patrick Willis. Nice job by the offense picking up that first down here to start the game. And that is important to give you a little confidence, to give you some rhythm, and most of all, just release some of that pressure you feel. First down and 10. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Just couldn't get his feet down on that catch. That was excellent man-to-man -man coverage at time. When you want to shut down a receiver, really the only way to do it is to man up and play him one-on-one. -on -one. Here we go. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Well, when you get in situations like this third long, you got to be smart on the offensive side. Yeah, I know you want to pick up the first down, but don't force it because if you do, it'll probably lead to a turnover. The defense looking for one more stop here on third down after that run. Saints get a first down. Saints in for the score. What a good job by the wide receiver. He made him think he was going across the field instead. Look what happens. Wide open, nice touchdown. Add the extra point, the kick is good. And following the extra point, the Saints are leading by seven. Unable to beat the down delay clock, and that'll cost him five yards, a delay of game. Repeat, first down. After that penalty, it'll be first and 15. It's handed to the running back. He's got a wide open alley. San Francisco, touchdown. There's no doubt about it. When you score like that to tie up the game, it shifts momentum. And it's all up now to the offense of the other team to get back out there and get the momentum back on their side. He made it. David Akers lining up for the kickoff. Darren Sproles with a chance to return this kickoff. The tackle was made. They bunch up the receivers on one side. The quarterback mixing things up at the line of scrimmage. First and 10. Pierre Thomas takes the handoff, and he's tackled at the 32-yard line. That was a running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. 
Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. Here we go. Loss of three. Good job here by the quarterback. He doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. It's a throw all the way. Touchdown, Saints. Terrible job by the defense. Lack of hustle, bad tackling, you name it. They allowed the short throw and catch to go all the way down the field for a score. And the extra point is good. And after that extra point, the Saints are leading by seven. They want the football back as they line up now in an onside kick formation. The onside kick is turned away, and the receiving team has it. The safety is up in the box right now. Running back gets it on the handoff. Well, this team is definitely committed to the run. There's no doubt about it. And when you're committed to the running game, hey, a lot of them are not going to work. That's okay. Stay with it. After the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. Back to the running back. They go to the right side. And it's Roman Harper who makes the tackle. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block. And then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get in the secondary and make a big play? This is third down. There's the quarterback barking out new signals. Staying on the ground. The tackle is made short of the first, and that'll bring up fourth down. Hey, how about this decision? They're not going to punt it. They're going to try to pick up the first down. And it's Curtis Lofton who makes the play. Good job that time by the running back. I'm sure he's a little winded after that play. He showed that speed getting out there and picking up those extra yards. It's first down as they head to the line. The wide receiver in motion. First down, it's back to the ground game. And he's pushed out of bounds. I think we should see this more often from players down this league. When you don't think you're going to make it, dive for the end zone. Good dive that time by the runner, but just short of the end zone. Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. They knocked him down behind the line of scrimmage. Play number six coming up on this drive. Quarterback has his team's attention here. Second down and five. Back to the ground. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage.
15 minutes down, 45 minutes to go. And we'll return after this message and a word from your local station. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Third and six. Looking to the right side and throwing. No separation at all. Incomplete. This defense can pressure the quarterback. There's no doubt about it. They did this time, and it results in another incompletion. Should be an easy one here. The kick is good. Well, I'm sure the it's defense good. is going, my gosh, what do we got to do to stop these guys? You know, once they even get near midfield, they know that the other team is in field goal range because that kicker, what a leg. The 49ers setting up for the kickoff. The Saints getting set now for their next series. Offense lines up here. First and ten. And the give to Pierre Thomas. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap. And they hold that run to a short game. Second down coming up. That's a pass all the way. Going across the middle, under pressure, and incomplete. Well, the protection was bad. Quarterback didn't have the time. He's off balance, and he throws the incompletion. Split backfield here. Looking across the middle. It's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. Terrible job by the quarterback. It's third down. You throw it short of the markers. Well, you get a completion. That's great. Uh, you're really accurate. But there were guys open down the field. Take a chance and go for it. Signaling for fair catch. are getting set for their next possession. Offense lines up here. Quarterback drops back. The throw to the left. Staying with them stride for stride. And the pass is incomplete. That incompletion by the quarterback, hey, I give the quarterback no fault. That was just tremendous coverage by the secondary player. He's in position and able to uh, make the football be incomplete. The defense comes out in the nickel. Hey, how about that? The defensive line, everybody's shifting to the left. I think they're expecting a run. Drop back, shotgun formation. Looking for an open receiver on the right. And it's knocked down, incomplete. Look, when you get that kind of time to throw the football as a quarterback, you got to make a better throw than that. Great job by the offensive line. Poor job by the quarterback. On the way, third down. Quarterback taking the snap from the shotgun. Quarterback throws the pass. Terrible job by the offensive line. Your quarterback needs more time than that. Uh, another incompletion. Andy Lee will be punting this one. Signals, fair catch.
Saints come onto the field for their next series. A little dime package here for the defense. Dropping back to throw. Good throw and good catch right on the sideline. Well, the quarterback gets the completion. It's going to look good on the stat sheet, but there was no chance of getting the first down by catching and running against this defense. Quarterback's got to be a little braver and throw the football down the field. Five-step drop. Alden Smith with the quarterback takedown. Nice job that time, but the outside linebacker getting the sack. They ask a lot of these guys now. They are special players in the NFL. Stopping the run and the speed to get outside and get the sacks on the quarterback, too. The quarterback throws to the right. Ball is batted down. Hard to throw over some of these linebackers in the NFL now. They got such good size. You try to throw over them. Here's what happens. These big guys will knock it down. He thinks twice about returning this one and signals fair catch. We clearly saw the signal for the fair catch. Meanwhile, the coverage team was right in on him and made contact too soon. Yeah, they were. They couldn't even see the fair catch signal because they were too busy getting blocked. They got free. It was too late in, and that's an easy penalty to call. Quarters formation here for the defense. Now first and ten. Now slashing to the right side looking for room. And he is tackled at the 44. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight field, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. Number 21 on the carry. One yard gain on the play. Two-minute warning looms, and this may be the last play before it hits. And we've reached the two-minute warning in this one. play was a run third down coming up quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of look at the hand signals he's given to the receiver outside he's looking that ball is picked off that'll stop the play right there good job that time by the defense not being fooled being in position when you're in position you have a chance to make the play that time they did, they got the interception. They've come out in the dime package. First down and 10. Trying to work the middle of the field. The Saints now move the chain. Tackles made. The defense thinks they have the guys to play man-to-man -man coverage down the field. Well, they didn't that time. The receiver made a nice little move, gets open, and a good throw by the quarterback. Challenging the defenders to the right side. That was a nice job by the offense. It just puts them in a better position. Nice little throw and catch. The defense trying to make a play here in the red zone. Scores the touchdown. Nice throw by the quarterback that time. Put it right on the money. Not a big window. It doesn't matter to him today. Great control of the football. Put it right in there for the touchdown. 
And after that extra point, the Saints lead by 11. The 49ers in kickoff return formation. They're not going to risk the big return, so here's the squid kick. And he's brought down right at the 42. Number 24 on the return. The defense comes out in the dime. They motion the receiver around to the other side. First and ten. Gore. He's into the open. And here he goes. And he's taken out of bounds. When you see a long run like that, you know what it does? It just breaks the will of the defense. In the NFL, it's all about passing. We see all these wonderful things. But when it comes down to it, who can win the war up front? And you win the war by running the football. Great job by the offensive line that time. Here they come back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. That leads us to second down. Takes the staff from the shotgun. He'll throw it over the middle. Brings it in. Well, they complete the pass, Jim, but doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, you got to throw one down the field. Here's the safety inching up for this play. Third and four to the ground here. Has some space to work with. Jim, the coaches tell us the same thing every week about defenses. Can we hold them to field goal tries and not give up the touchdowns? Here we are. They got more than a seven-point lead. Can you hold them to a field goal try? Well, we'll find out. Coming to the line inside the opponent's 20. <laughs> Offense lines up here. Wants to throw it across the middle. Gains 11. Good job by the offense. They're in the red zone. They're down by more than seven. But the defense, can you stop them and just give up the field goal try? Play number six coming up on this drive. comes the wide receiver in motion. Third and five. Gonna go draw after a five-yard gain. Well, even though they're down more than seven here, the offense down the red zone, it'll be good for them for the rest of this game. Their confidence uh, for the offensive coach that they can punch this in for the touchdown. Instructions. Dropping back three. Touchdown. And this game just got a whole lot more interesting. Good job by the offensive coordinator calling those plays. Leads to a touchdown. They're just slowly chipping it away at this lead. Now can their defense come out and help them out? Extra point is good. David Akers lining up for the kickoff. They 
bring him to the turf. Here we go. Here we go. Ready for intermission. First, one more play. The first half is over, and we'll be back with our first half analysis in just a moment. We're back here now in this one, where the Saints lead by four. The receiving team has the recovery. The 49ers ready to take over the football. First down coming up. Looking to the right side and throwing. Tackled down at the 28-yard line. You know, in the NFL now, the defenses have to be smart. When it's a long situation where you think they might throw it deep down the field, when they throw it short, you have to react. You have to break down, spread the field, and make the tackle. Come on. On the spot. Well, when you have athletic ability on the defensive side, you're able to react to short passes. They come up, make the tackle for a little game. That little throw was good for only three, so it's now second down and seven. Right where it had to be. It's Malcolm Jenkins who makes the tackle. Good job by the defense at time, stopping them inches short of the goal line. Big play. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Hand off. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. They get set quickly, ready for another snap. Goal line defense on the field. Another handoff. And gains about one. Well, when you get this close, it'll be nice to punch it in there and score. Even though you're still going to be behind, execute the play and get it done. From inside the red zone, so dangerous. Play number six coming up on this drive. Right back. Touchdown, 49ers. The 49ers for the extra point. Makes the PAT. And after that extra point, the 49ers lead by three. The Saints getting set to return the kickoff. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. Saints come onto the field now for this next series. Extra DBs all over the field. First and ten. Pierre Thomas takes the handoff. Going to lose yards here. One yard loss on the play. Here we go. Second down now. Play fake here. Going across the middle. Calls it in for the first down. This is why I like quarterbacks who get underneath the center a lot. When you get underneath the center, you can deceive the defense because they cannot see where the football is. You can fake reverses. You can fake the run. You got these play-action passes that generally work and get you some easy completions. Looking to Sean Goldson with the interception. He's got a little bit of daylight here. He's got some daylight. Good piece of tackling. What a terrible job by the quarterback. But nobody's open. Tries to force the pass. And look, what's it turn into? An interception. From the red zone. Now first and ten. And the give to Frank Gore. Picks up maybe three. 
Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. I think you can just tell by the body language and the way he's acting, that is an upper body injury. Hope it's not severe. We'll let you know as soon as we find out. Offense lines up here. Three-step drop. That ball is going the other way. Taking off. Nice tackle. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. We saw an injury early in this game, and now we're starting to hear he should be able to return before this one's over, so that's some good news. Yeah, it is good news to him, his family, all the friends, and, of course, the, the fans uh, here in attendance today, they're going to be happy because he has been playing awfully well. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Nickel formation here for the defense. The quarterback's calling something out. Ready, my shot. Just a quick drop back. The quarterback throws to the right. Good job that time by the defense. Nice reaction. Seeing the short throw coming up and getting their arms around the runner and making the tackle. The defense comes out in the nickel. Out of the shotgun formation. And he's intercepted. He's brought down. That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. They bring in an extra defensive back. That's an interception. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. Split backfield here. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Has the catch but the feet are not down. If you're defensive back in the NFL now, you've got to be alert for the deep passes down the field because not only do you got to play it well, you got to make sure you don't have pass interference. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Second down and 10. Challenging the defenders to the right side. The defense has them wrapped up. Can't complete the pass. Third down on the way. And the give to Pierre Thomas. Gains 13. When you see a long run like that, you know what it does? It just breaks the will of the defense. In the NFL, it's all about passing. We see all these wonderful things. But when it comes down to it, who can win the war up front? And you win the war by running the football. Great job by the offensive line that time. Loss of one. Play number six coming up on this drive. Second down and five. They'll run with it again. It's really important they find a way to score in this drive here. So close to the goal line, they got to get back in this game. And if they find a way to score, even though they'll still be behind, it'll give them a lot of confidence. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Third down and one. Here's the quick toss, and he's in for the touchdown. There's the signal from the far side. It is a touchdown. He broke the plane. He broke the plane from just a yard away. Saints ready here for the kickoff. Better judgment says, take a knee.
49ers getting ready now to start their drive. First down here. Ball is snapped and the quarterback tosses it to the outside. Hurry up, two minute offense. The quarterback mixing things up at the line of scrimmage. Second and 10, staying on the ground. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're running football team, listen, there's gonna be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just gotta keep running it. minutes to go and we'll return after this message and a word from your local station we're getting started with the fourth quarter Jim Nance and Phil Sims here for the call Still third and nine to go. Makes the reception. That's stopped by Roman Harper. Well, if you want to be a good play-action pass team, it's always nice to have a good running game. Make the defense dig in and try to stop your run. When they do that, you fool them. You fake it. You throw it down the field. That, that's, that's about as easy as it gets. Here's the first snap after the big play. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. A timeout charge to the offense. First down, following the long play. First down and 10. Frank Gore gets it here. Gets past the first wave. 49ers in for the score. You don't see a lot of them anymore because we have so many good tackling safeties in the NFL, but not this time. That long run goes for a touchdown. It was about the moves and the blocks down the field. Terrific job by the offense. Following the extra point, the 49ers lead by three. 49ers setting up for the kickoff. Fair catch signal made. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. The Saints get ready to start their drive. Offense lines up here. From the gun, looks to his left. Ball's picked off. He's in the clear. 49ers in the end zone. What an interception by the defense, and not only that, look at that return. They intercept the ball on one side of the field, make a long interception return for a touchdown. That's how you win football games on the defensive side. They'll get set, looking to convert on this two-point try. Gore to the right side, and so they convert it here on the two-point try. David Akers lining up for the kickoff. Kickoff 
Saints getting set now for the next series. First down, offense ready for the snap. Looking to the right side and throwing, and he hauls it in. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. They've got a first down now after that catch. A takeaway. He stacked up at that point. Good job by the defensive back. Reading the wide receiver, makes the break at the perfect time, and gets the interception. First down here. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. No gain on the play. After being stuffed at the line of scrimmage, it's now second down and 10. Well, the best thing you can say on the offensive side that time is the quarterback got rid of the football. Terrible protection, nowhere to throw it, just throw it away. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. Quarterback drops back, play action. Knocked away, incomplete. Play doesn't even have time to develop. The quarterback is under so much pressure, he's throwing it before these receivers are even ready. The punt team is in place and ready to perform. a touchback and the ball will be placed at the 20. The Saints are getting set for their next possession. They come to the line of scrimmage first down. He'll fire it out to the left and it's knocked down. What a good job by the defensive back that time. That ball was thrown beautifully down the field. High arcing throw, but the defensive back in great position knocks it down. Here, a split backfield. The quarterback throws to the right. The pass is incomplete. There was no one open. And what you do in man-to-man -man defense sometimes, get up there and disrupt the wide receiver, disrupt his rhythm, Disrupt the timing, and what do you get? Another incompletion. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. Play action fake, looking to throw. Saints get a first down. Well, Jim, I always say it's about deception when you're playing offense. That time. The play action fake by the quarterback was so good that defense didn't even see that he still had the football and he throws it down there for a nice completion. Interception.